Hey guys, how's it going? Um, well, this is gonna be a very, very calm and easy stream. Uh, I'm still not feeling 100% as I said, well, as I actually haven't said yet. I've been sick the entire week, but I'm ridiculously bored, so I decided to let's stream some. But first, I have to fix this goddamn screen issue, which for some reason only shows like 10% of the entire screen. Yeah, that, that's not fit to screen. Are, are you insane? Hello, game. Game. Wh why you do this to me? There. What? What? Okay. Remove for scaling. Change it now to please fit to screen. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's add for scaling into something that's definitely not correct. And it seems to be working fine. Okay. That's super weird. That is very weird. Um, well, if it looks good for you guys, then I, maybe I shouldn't complain too much. Oh, shit. There we go. Brightness. Ugh. God, this has really not been my day. Like, I felt super nice this morning. So I was like, I'm going to go out today, actually get some fresh air for the first time in a week. Uh, was like, yeah, I guess I can cut my hair and the Another guy did Most clingy and thank you much for the subscription. Welcome to the salt mine and uh, Yeah, oh my god. I have a metal face. That's awesome <laughs> Welcome so much. Thanks so much Most clingy in God probably slaughtering names right and left too, but yeah So I went up and then the guy cutting my hair didn't listen to me So I have a slight bit shorter than I actually would well that I'm comfortable with. Uh, let's ignore that and let's get into the game. Uh, you're here to actually see me play Hoi 4 and not talking about my troubles and sickness and all that random stuff. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Uh, let's fix that. Let's fix this. Hopefully it's... Come on. No, no, green screen. You're still bugged out. No, no, you're good, you're good. Alright, so uh, we have played this mod Fallout mod once before. I think we played as the Western Brotherhood at that point. We might have done one play with Caesar's Legion as well, though I don't really remember that. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a really nice, just calm, easy stream. Hopefully you will join me and enjoy that. So, what are we going to do? Yes, uh, so this is basically a Mexican update as far as I know it. And it's about this like machine kingdom or something falling. Uh, I just made a quick, quick read through what it actually meant. Uh, but yeah, like I don't have very many rules. But if you can play as Mexican wrestlers, then you play as Mexican wrestlers. And if you look right over hmm, here, free fighters, you can play as Mexican wrestlers. So there's no choice. We're gonna play as the Mexican wrestler nation. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that flag is so bloody awesome. La Tres Mascareras. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. That's bloody goddamn awesome. I apologize for probably sounding a bit weird and coughing and stuff like that. But yeah, I I'm not fully healthy, but I'm good enough. So I decided to let's bring something. I'm so tired of lying in bed and doing nothing. I just played Hoi for three hours MP non-historical with two play. 20 players and one. Wow. Ned Gaming, that's fucking freaking awesome. Ducking awesome, I mean. <laughs> that's why it'd be nice. NG cells. So, NG cells are basically fuel. Very nice. Integrating that in a nice and, well, I guess historical sense or um, integration sense. Uh, let's see. We learned this stuff. Oh, Coring States. Uh, let's see. How do you do it? Ah, there. Straight away. Cool. Uh, flower war, so basically we, I guess that's like some basic war mechanic. Uh, yeah, I can't press on them, but then I need to read stuff. I can't be bothered with reading stuff right now. It's surely perfect. Wait, wait, did we have some kind of story about this nation? Uh, free fighters, region, land of titans, not right there. Data corruption, west coast, no free fighters there. No free fighters there. No free fighters there. <laughs> No free fighters there. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we might actually get the story right over here. Okay, cool. <laughs> then we're gonna get it right there. Awesome. So, how are you guys doing? Are you fine? Like, this is a bit weird streaming time, so I guess it's kind of new for you. 
I watch you for late. How are you late, bro? I just finished the game. <laughs> oh, is this your own channel, D Duck in PG? No, I, I. Well, I'm just trying to make it better for myself, like purely for YouTube. Honestly, since I try to put everything I do stream up on YouTube later, and if you swear in your videos and YouTube are saying, well, we don't like your video, we're not going to promote it. And it's not too much of asshole. It sounds better also if you don't swear all the time. It should be a, like I'm swearing a tiny bit too much, more than, more than my liking. So trying to reduce that just a tiny bit. It's not PG at all. Uh, you need to get a mask for your next session if you stream this again. <laughs> oh yeah. That would have been awesome. Uh, thanks for checking out the All World Blue mods. We have changed a lot in 2.0 from gameplay to mechanics to research balance. And of course we added Mexico. Hopefully you enjoy your work. Oh, sap dude. Yeah, I will probably very much enjoy this. You can play as Mexican wrestlers. Then <laughs> you play as Mexican wrestlers. There's no really, no real choice to be honest. Let's just uh, very, make a quick check right there with everything. Yeah, this looks very nice. Clean and so civilized. Tribal, advanced, and unique. Okay, cool. Support. This looks very kind of similar to before, but a lot of updates. Uh, civilized. Very nice. Ooh. Please tell me 3D model. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, let's see. Then we have, of course, we have robots. Right, right, right. This also looks updated. Nice. Uh, land doctrines. Everything here. Ooh, actually, I think. Wasn't updated last time I played this, so yeah, that's nice. Specialized Doctrine and... Bablarans, Ace 31s. Thank you much for the follow, much appreciate that, but sorry for slaughtering your name. So Specialized Doctrines are... Well, Specialized Doctrine. Naval, Aerial, Specialized Warfare. So I guess this is uh, Special Forces. Wow, you can really upgrade those Special Forces a ton. Otherwise it's Sky and Navy. Uh, air, Navy models, Naval, Industry, wow, that's a massive industry tree, we have to check that in. Uh, then we have Engineering, very cool, and Reward, Reward Technologies. So you can't research them, this is just, oh, uh, okay. By the way, what the hell is this? Super Mu Mutant Behemoth. If we can get this as Mexican fighters, then wow, we have everything on top right there. <laughs> you can swear all you want after the first minute. Well, then I'm already screwed because of the F word right there. I didn't know that. I slowed down. <laughs> but anyway, okay, let's just do some pretty standard setup since I'm not 100% sure how to play this mod. Uh, let's see. Cap is always good. Cap, cap. So this is a lot very quickly, but then you're pretty much stuck. Uh, here's less, but you can get a lot more over time. Uh, we're definitely going to get that a lot more over time. Uh, but do we really need cap and stuff right away? So this is just a normal, yeah, factory text. Uh, let's see. Wow, wait, 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 wait. We are going to have to compare these a bit more. Uh, factory in states. 2 versus 20. Oh, no, they're 15 versus 20. <laughs> uh, retention, base, uh, cap, minus growth. Well, if you get more cap then, and more factories in that state, then that's pretty superior. But getting that recruitable population might very much be necessary. Hello, Raider. Hello, Andy. Hello, Sap, dude. Ice, Ice Lord. Fish. <laughs> A Jeb, of course. Very welcome, as usual. Uh, Fazen. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty cool and normal. Construction speed. Uh, conversion. Agriculture. Uh, Kairos1719, thank you much for the follow, much appreciated, welcome to the stream. Uh, that's fuel stuff and conversion bonus, yeah, I don't really care about that. And resource gain, okay, now I kind of know what we have right there. Uh, let's see, reinforce rate, resource speed, well, that we're definitely going to get no matter what. Uh, let's see, okay. How, how, how are we actually looking, how are we looking, we have nine, f oh god. So we're probably going to invade nations to properly do something. We're right now ruler. What the hell does that mean? Okay, we're ruler. We're basically kings right now. Okay. Uh, probably going to go some kind of fascist. Maybe we'll see exactly what these folks does shortly. Uh, let's just finish the decisions or the research right now. 
Construction speed won't really help us until we have a larger army. But that means we need to take our nations. Getting that recruit population might really be what's win or lose for us. I could check through this entire tree, but I kind of want to discover it to get it with you guys. So I don't want to look through this. So we're going to play safe before sorry. And we're going to take the recruit population right there. And land doctrine wise, this is basically, yeah, it seems to be kind of the same stuff as normal. But, well, focus in fallout ways. Uh, we can't hope to match the enemy industrial might or the unsigned technology, but we need, uh, but we, n but we need neither. Terror tactics, guerrilla warfare, and mass assault win the day. Yeah, sure, that sounds Mexican fighter as hell, and that was not supposed to be that. There we go. Um, I'm just imagining flying <laughs> Lunciadore in World War II plane. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's play this game. Uh, so, first one, Heroes of Lost Moshis. Moshis. God, I'm gonna... Why did I pick this nation? I'm gonna slaughter everything. 30 years of the world ended, a small tribal community is terrorized and enslaved by local bandits. However, the situation changed when a lone figure in a white mask wandered into town. So, I guess that guy is the main guy, maybe? Uh, okay. Weapon is actually what kind of we have militia and guardia, uh, so that that's just normal militia. So we're pretty much gonna ignore that. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. Wait, is that my entire army? No. Oh my god. That's bloody brilliant. That's... Oh my god, that's so beautiful. <coughs> I love that. Yeah. Instead of dropping bombs, they drop elbows. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, basic melee weapon. Okay, what do these guys actually need? Uh, you need infinite equipment. Yeah, you basically need infinite equipment. Why would I produce me melee weapons? Is that like support or something? Uh, I don't know. Is it just much cheaper? 2 versus 270. Better fans, better. Same soft attack. Uh, one at the air. Piercing. <laughs> and more breakthrough. Yeah, but uh, okay. Requires less uh, resource, I guess. But yeah, we, are, we have enough resources. So, three right there, we're gonna get some support equipment, get two right there, actually that's everything we have, okay. Let's get then get, um, yeah, something like that, should be good enough. Uh, insufficient resources, yeah, I know, that'll be fine. Uh, will it actually, let's do like this. Yeah, that'll be fine, and then we're gonna go in decisions, focus on inter internal sphere, or expel the riffraff. Okay, so stability versus non-stability, both fulfill the requ requirement of regular weapons, ah, thank you Andy. Uh, Fallout in oh you can actually play the intros ooh <laughs> that could be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, begin scavenging. Producing is all good, uh, so I guess you can send out your units to scavenge stuff. Uh, more than fifty manpower that we have, more than fifty pipe guns in storage. So you lose the manpower and the guns. Scavenging is set to forty percent, uh, and we get. 100 each, but I guess there is like a fail chance or anything like that Yeah Okay, let's let's try it out once we actually can do that um, That was not logistics is uncord states uh, Oh there infinite web equipment. Yeah, that pretty much use That pretty much proves that well, it's useful both right there uh, So it's stronger for early games, but weaker as time goes on. Yeah, it seems like it uh, anyway, let's set up our army against a couple enemies. Well, a couple enemies. Oh, please tell me we have... Oh, damn it. I was really hoping we were going to have them as commanders. But I won't say no to one of these. As, well, beginning guys. Uh, infantry commander straight away. That's pretty goddamn good. Uh, I don't know who we might attack. Uh, who we might be our enemies or anything like that. Uh, there we go, heroes. We're gonna go to speed five. Actually, three dockyards. Let's just get five convoys right now. We just need convoys, probably. Uh, there we go. Let's begin playing this game. So, quick question. Uh, like a random world. 
if he's interested in doing it, I like a random word to generate a planet for RimWorld. Well, if I knew how to play RimWorld, sure, but I don't, <laughs> so... Uh, okay. Uh, 30 years of small community. Okay, this is the same, but a bit expanded. So I guess I'm gonna ignore reading this, but actually read the expanded one. Come. The last Lunchadore. 30 years after the world ended, a small tribal community is terrorized and laid by local people. However, the situation changed when a lone figure in a white mask wanders into town and dares to challenge the banditos. Despair, despite all odds, the figure drives out the banditos, only to come to his wounds in the aftermath of the battle. His sacrifice would inspire generations of tribal to take up masks and fight their oppressors, with his dying words carrying them into the future. Memories of justice. Shelter for the weak. Uh, defense bonus or civilian factor reduction. Since we barely have anything. Hmm. Uh, I think we should just upgrade our troops then, since we won't get very much from just building up our civilian factory. We, we don't have any, so it probably means that we are going to have to conquer most of our stuff. So let's go with that defense. And then we're going to do the next one, and since we kind of forgot to pick anything, we already have the next one. <laughs> the Bastard of Gumukol. Much cool. Oh god, slaughtering everything. Return of the Demon. And the return of El Santo and his sacrifice would go into inspire a tribal uprising that forces forced the local banditos into exile and defeat. With the singular exception of one warband, these warriors adopted the masks and tactics of the enemies, fashioned themselves after the blue demon that once challenged El Santo, while antagonists towards their fellow, none can deny it, deny the place the blue demons have earned in free fighter society. Uh, for they are willing to do what must be done. A villain for every tale. Or uh, honor to a point. <laughs> honor to a point. And that also upgrades our troops a bit more. And then we have the monster of Kulikan. Kulikan. Uh, actually what do we have? Protector guarantee. Uh, Talok guarantees only protect a few Mexican nations outside. But they will not protect cartels from other Mexican nations. Okay. So we can basically go wild in the Mexican nation because they will protect they won't protect them but they will protect us if people from the north uh, yeah okay cool uh let's see otherwise we have wrestling <laughs> wrestle mongers <laughs> oh my god that's so bloody silly <laughs> oh my god send maximum volunteers we can send volunteers we can send more volunteers and we'll require less to actually send it and then we have la tres mascarenas no, tres mascaras, tres mascaras, slaughtering that probably, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see, a monster with a hundred masks. Uh, the arrival of the Great Wonder broke a hundred years of status quo among the warring tribes of free fighters. For this great foe was greater than any that who had come to threaten them before. Easily defeating several chiefs in single combat, the monster claimed the mass of his defeated foes, establishing himself as the new leader of the tribes. To all who inquired, he made goals clear. He sought to form an army which should defeat the Legion of the Far North. Uh, that Legion? The Caesar's Legion? You mad, bro? Uh, no more fear or recruit population. A new homeland. El Gigante Verde Gold. Yep, yep, 100%. Mes Tanse. Thank you for the follow and welcome to stream. And by the way, when I say stuff like that, I don't intend to, like... It's almost automatic because I am a stereotypic asshole. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. But I probably will keep doing that. I'm sorry, but... Not sorry. Uh, the last march, uh, let's the uh, tag team of the century. So the blue and white mask. D didn't the guy in the white mask die? Uh, did I miss something? Uh, let's see. Tag team of the century. The last mask for the leadership of free fighters ended with no clear winner. And yet it remains the greatest mask the federations have ever seen. El Santo and the blue demon face each other. In Los Mochis Ring, trading blow for blow, just as El Santo was to claim victory from the crowd's merged green giant himself. 
Uh, Mill Mark Scarry slept into the ring and it was only through their combined power that the Blue Demon and El Santo was uh, able to force him to a draw. When the dust settled on the ruined remains of what once became Los Mochis Ring, a new fellowship was formed. Las Tres Mascares. Mascares would rule the Federation as equal until they faced each other in the ring again. So it was basically that entire story was different ring fights. <laughs> oh my god, that's bloody awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. So, either we go Division in the Federation or we do the Unbowed. Um, so, differences between these. Not everyone accepted the results of the Great March. Even now, talks circulate among the tribes questioning the fitness of Las Tres uh, Mascares to lead the Federation. Not all uh, not all have the Luchas tribe have accepted the rule of Las Tres Mascares. There's, there remain yet three groups who will need to unite under our banner. Uh, okay, it, this is a bunch of different like decisions and events, so I don't really know exactly what we will get from it. So either we pick dealing with the Shadow Walkers, Research Bonus, the Demon and the Nightmare, Legacy of the Saint, and Legacy of the... Well, that's uh, just making our units defensive and recovery rate higher. Or we do the Two-Faced Warrior. We get Legends of Monsters, we go Triple Threat, uh, Special Forces or Super Mutant Mutant Auxiliaries. <laughs> well, if I can get Super Mutants, uh, but I don't remember the name of that. That's Super Mutant Behemoth, that Warden Platoon, and here. So we're gonna get Super Mutant, but as a Auxiliary Platoon. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We're definitely gonna go the right path. It's like Mechs and wrestlers with super mutants, it's not even a bloody goddamn choice. <sighs> so the unbound. And from that we're gonna get decision, well, the unbound decision. Then we have a bunch of industry stuff right here, and I guess this depends on if we if we get the Well Mixed Leader, uh Ward Mask. We'll see. Actually wait. The unbound Okay, so we get this path oh no it's just one of these to be able to unlock that one okay is it the same thing right here yeah it's just one of these to be able to unlock it so okay so we needed to, we we had to pick either this or this before doing anything else uh okay yeah we're doing generally fine we're gonna be okay uh we should probably trade a tiny bit if we can since there's no real point of having that civilian factory wait we oh right we don't have any con Come on, don't we actually have one civilian factory? No, it's all restricted by consumer goods. Ah, because we have so goddamn many military factories. So yeah, picking that our troops are supposedly better and stuff like that, that was definitely the right choice. Uh, and as far as I can see, we should have enough to do our little begin, begin scavenging program. Then let's do it. Send out some men to scavenge around and we'll see what happens. Uh, Desert Ranger clear one jackals, okay. We'll basically see what happens right here. In the world, Sea Legion just killing some crap right there. Desert Rangers killing some more. World is burning, and it's like a month in the game. <laughs> Not even that. Actually, two months. Uh, let's see. More research speed, slightly out of time. Sure, let's pick that one. God, it feels nice. Just a nice slow stream. I couldn't get any, like, I haven't streamed in forever, and I felt like I really needed to do it. And I felt a lot better today, but... <laughs> still a bit... On the down low. So, you're probably gonna see, see me do that quite often, to just empty my nose! <laughs> Uh, let's see, the unbowed, okay, not all of the lunch drive except the rule of Las Tres Maca uh, Mascaras, okay, uh, Las Medicinas, the Shadow Walkers and the Two-Faced Warriors. Each of these tribes will need to be convinced to work with us one way or another. They'll come around eventually, wow, minus 15 stability, that's pretty harsh. Uh, let's see, so this is basically approaching all of them. Uh, we need all of the following, so we need to pick all three of these to be able to reach right there. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? We need all of following. 
but we can't reach this one. Now we're missing something. Oh, we can pick both of them. <laughs> oh my god. That, that was not a choice. Oh my god. I, I It very much... <sighs> Hashtag sickness. I can't see. Well, I can't really blame it that because I usually... Yeah, all of these also need to do both of them. Oh my god, Daniel. Ugh. <laughs> well, at least we got a sh quick overview of everything we can get in the future. <laughs> Uh, let's see, should we increase now? I don't want to really reduce anything. 50 50 is pretty good, so we're gonna stay like that. Is there anything else we can do? Oh, not really. We just have to sit back and relax a bit, focus on the focuses, and then we'll see. Wait, this mod uh, also has rivers as naval regions? I don't know. Uh, yes, it seems. Yes, rivers are naval regions. So technically, you could naval invade right there. So that's kind of interesting. And maybe something I would have to actually look into. That would be actually very beneficial. I said I was just going to do basically convoys. But now I'm kind of interesting. I would like... I just need a boat or two. Like... These people don't have any boats, right? No, they don't. So if I just had some send, well, if we had a tiny bit of a fleet, invasion right there, and we'd be awesome. We're pretty good, pretty well set. Wait, does that mean I can build naval factories right here as well? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So they can definitely get a naval navy, but if I can just get one boat and they have zero, we can invade them very easily. Uh, let's see. Should we just continue right here? Yeah, we probably need more manpower. I would like a large army. Let's see, is there any difference in manpower between these? Oh, right, manpower is very much reduced in this mod. Ah, crap. Then we might not have gone that heavily on manpower. Instead of being a thousand men, these are 25 men each. Ooh, crap. Well, I guess we can always get, uh, well, a pretty large proper army right here then. We're definitely going to just get a ton of these. Yeah, this is very nice. <laughs> oh god, they actually have weapons now also. Nice, because we built them. I don't know how many should get that guy to look like that. Come on. There we go. For some reason, it bugs out into combat mode, I think. I guess. You press bind and you press on the unit and that works. Because it's not the standard walking. <laughs> But yeah, just waiting there to draw the weapons. <laughs> Very nice. I like small things like this. Uh, actually, yeah, we haven't checked our laws right now. Volunteer only, civilian economy. So this looks pretty goddamn standard and that's nice. At least something I recognize. Uh, not everyone except... Oh god, really? Mine is 15, 15? Okay, maybe we should pick... No, wait, we had to pick both of them. Never mind, never mind. Okay, now we can pick War the Mask, we can pick the industry stuff. Okay, we're gonna have to take a quick look here now as well. So, this is quite a bit of just building up. That's one research slot, that's Annex War Goals. Wow, really? Here? Down in the industry path? Okay. Uh, let's see, Vale Banditas. So, basically, I guess naval invade these two nations. Pazbancitas, Valibancitas. Let's see both of them. Yeah, both of them, okay. Uh, let's see. Then we have Warden Mosque, which is military-wise, really focused. Uh, Sinaloa Cartel. We are right there. Okay, so it's basically these people. Five to ten divisions. They have... Wow, a side, they have a better nation than us. It's straight out a better nation than us. But we have more military factories. And we do have more manpower as well. So I guess I would like to try to do a quick little a quick little war against them if we can. Uh, let's see. For that we have to go down two focuses right here. That's going to be 60, 60, 60. That's going to be 180 days. Will that be enough for me to get a proper force? 
Like, I would like to reach at least twice their units. We currently are, well, almost twice behind them. Our current production... Actually, do you need anything else more than what we currently have? No. Okay, we don't even need it. that. So, switch this around. More focus on the actual stuff that we have and need. Uh, water mask. So, yeah, let's go a quick rumble right there and just remove them from the game. Yeah, I think that's going to be beneficial. Just take them out straight away. We're going to get us sizable chunk extra military factory and manpower just go straight right there yeah that will probably work out fine uh let's see let's also make sure we get a field marshal perfect there we go let's get an uh, offensive max oh no let's just get entrenchment it's always good to have some extra defense and just for safety reasons let's get one guy right there one guy right there oh crap you're also supposedly gonna be changed later i don't want militia i want the proper divisions hello Ned gaming welcome back so modified government asmin Asymmetric warfare. Come on, please. Oh, yes, we picked the right one. <laughs> uh, I, I thought that was just a generic military theorist, but that actually had a proper... Good, then we get a bonus right there. <coughs> uh, Washington Brotherhood, five states. Uh, one second, let's just check this a bit quick. Uh, let's see one more factory right here. Yeah, sure. I am not 100% sure where I got that one from We have nine still must have just accidentally not assigned one uh, Let's get two more right there one more right there asymmetric warfare. Thank you getting the first one right there out supply and more regions. Yes, please uh, Here's one of the divisions. Oh God wait, they're mutant. Oh shit I don't know if they're oh my god they have they have increased their men again I am kind of worried right now kind of worried that I might be dying straight away uh, we really need more men I want something yeah let's just have 14 right here and just try to squeeze out as much as we bloody goddamn can uh, we might want to reduce just our war time by a tiny bit if we instead go down right here, get one civilian factory, and we might... Yeah, if we if we get one more civilian factory, we might possibly get one that we can trade for. Game on, get 50 blue power right there. Mm, nothing really giving me... Let's see, if we get that, that's one civilian factory, that's three civilian factories. That will delay us by 120 days but i'm very acceptable by that yeah we're definitely gonna do that just so we can boost up and actually get some trading so we can just squeeze out more guns uh two with division span nah i don't like doing stuff like that uh do you have our uh, companion music mod we have our original soundtrack by the team included so you can play it without getting strikes muted uh i don't have anything i don't have the music mod added sap dude damn it if i knew that i would have definitely well, fix that. Damn it, that would've been nice. <laughs> well, I guess if I play this again, I'll just have to, well, jump in and make sure I get that one. Uh, that's pretty good. I kinda wanna pick this one, but that's a slight bit too much ahead of time. Uh, let's see, basic weaponry, that's also a slight bit too ahead of, um, slightly too much ahead of time. Uh, maybe we should get, let's see, don't you have that normal trench engineers or something like that? And uh, that's just reducing everything. That's anti-tank, that's breakthrough dynamite. Uh, that's basically recon company, but we have recon company there as well. Could you get some really speedy divisions if you pick both of them? Maybe. Uh, let's see, logistics, engineering and healing powder might be useful yeah that's really too bad it would have been very nice to have some custom music rather than the normal hoist stuff 
Okay, let's see right here. So yeah, we're gonna pick right here. We're we have a lots and lots of industry stuff to do. So let's just get down and really focus on the uh, industry right now. Scavenge your options. Oh, well, I want to see that. God damn it. Uh, yeah. For now, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Take 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 some easy. Relax. Uh, dynamite flinging lunchadores. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that would have been awesome. I I I'm so tired. I didn't really understand what you wrote the first time I read it, and then when I read it again, I was like, oh wait, that's actually funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get two divisions up right there. Come, come on, come on. Uh, let's see. One more right there, or can we already? Yes, we can already trade, right now. Uh, we are trading with the machine race. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. More economy, nothing we can pick right now. Uh, we can pick anything right there. Crusher. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. I'm amazing. Uh, out supply. Oh, that's very. Uh, like, if you got both of these, that would be how much extra attack? 35% more attack and minus 15% defense. That could be some really cool stuff. Uh, Month population, I don't think we have to care about that. Actually, 10% when you need like, yeah, that's basically a division a month. Huh. Oracle, planning speed and max planning. Oh, that's also pretty nice right now. This would probably do the most damage if we don't do... Hmm. We are Mexican wrestlers. He's a freaking nuke belt. We're gonna go all in. All in on firepower, all in on attacks, all in on just absolute destruction. Yeah. I guess that's the only way of actually playing this properly. So we need to honor them. <laughs> Barbed wire landmines matches. <laughs> uh, let's see. How are we going to do? Come on. Uh, actually, we were... Well, we don't really need to do that one right now since we got enough. Well, uh, five more. Well, that's actually for the convoy, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're really getting a lot more equipment now. That's very nice. Uh, let's see. So we're going to get that cap increased. And uh, this one is just more stuff. Uh, construction speed. Uh, not really necessary. Oh, there. There. Seed selection. Uh, month population and recruitable factors. Sounds awesome. Let's pick that one. Hello, so Darkling. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing reasonably good. I've been sick the entire week. Like, oh well, from Saturday until I finally feel good enough to make a stream today. Uh, and then back to work tomorrow. Like, I'm still blowing my nose, like, ridiculously. I've really just boosted myself up to be able to feel healthy enough for the stream. It's probably not going to be too long, but I, I just wanted to, well, say hi, guys. I'm not dead. Sorry for the low amount of streams, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> Uh, trade with Rio, thank you. Getting two more factors right there. And now we should go right here. Uh, freedom for Sinalona. Uh, the Sinalona cartel is a blighted reminder of the sins of the old worlds. Rather than being snuffed out like the rest of nations, like Roach, they survived feeding on the carcass as a misfortune of other survivors. This cannot continue. Freedom will come to Sinaloa. Uh, let's see. Then we're gonna go construction speed right there. Yeah, sure. Let's pick that one right now. We need to pick it sooner or later. And um, where did Caesar Legion go? Oh, they just annexed those people. Okay, never mind. I was really worried they were pushing forward. <laughs> I was a bit sick uh, a week ago. Yeah, it's it's crazy right now. People are sick left and right at work at w as well. So I'm guessing it's something flying around, at least here in Sweden. Or, well, it could just be people being overconfident, like... Yeah, okay, the summer's out, too bad, but I, I refuse. I refuse to accept that it's not summer anymore. I'm gonna stay in, well, in my t-shirt. Damn, people get sick. <laughs> uh, here's hoping I get Bandlord Beta Key. Watching you last week really made me hype for the game. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's too bad it's only multiplayer, but still, 
the combat in Banner Lords are so so goddamn smooth if you compare with the normal game right now. I started up, played a bit, and was like, "Yep, th this is not this is not the same anymore." It felt like I had to compensate for something I shouldn't need to compensate for. But yeah, it was very very different. I, it was very nice with Banner Lords. I'm so looking forward to when the game enters, well, closed alpha for the single player or whatever. So we can reduce this by quite a bit. I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now that we should be able to beat this. We have seven. Oh god, I actually have more than my maximum amount of division right now. But their division seems to be worse than mine. So we'll probably just have to sit here and defend for a while. Uh, let's switch this one out to actually from proper divisions, please. Freedom Force in Aloha. Time to bring them justice. One more doctrine upgrade. Very cool. Uh, actually, you are not too far ahead right now. So we're just going to jump in right here. Pick something random. Doesn't really matter. And then we're going to jump back to doctrines right there and actually use it. I want that one up and rolling ASAP. Uh, let's see. Division training time. Doesn't. I don't really care about that. Scout. Scout kit. Oh, that's your special forces. Uh, basic weaponry, slight bit ahead of time. I don't want to pick that just yet because we have so much to research. Uh, let's just get more plant cultivation. So more recruit population right there. And the one, next one, we're going to get the war goal. And uh, the right corner, the 200 year unconsisted champion of misery. The overlord himself, the Sinalo Cartel. And in the left corner, waging in... With a people filled with the power and righteousness and freedom, armed to the teeth and ready to kick some crusty gold colo, the free fighters! Ladies and gentlemen, the ghouls and the robe reigns, let's get ready to rumble! This is probably the worst nation ever to play for me right now because that was god awfully exhausted and I wasn't really that hyped. It was just me slightly saying it in higher voice. <coughs> oh my god, that's horrible. Where, where are my pills? Where are my pills? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so... I, now, now I'm kind of sad I picked this nation. I can't give it my all. <laughs> I can't bloody goddamn give it... <laughs> give it my all. <laughs> but yeah, god. When mods do stuff like this... I love you guys. I bloody got them love you guys. That's so so awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should of course announce every wrestling ma match from this because my extremely hyped voice right now you really really just excited you. Oh my god. The last rumble. <laughs> okay, so we need to be at war with them before we can do avenge the saint. Perhaps the Sino Cartel killed El Santo. They thought they had uh, riddled freedom fighters of the greats here. In reality, they only made our soul even stronger. Now that the saint is back, it's time for some divine <sighs> retribution. <laughs> okay, are we good? Uh, let's deploy these three divisions. Let's remove them. Uh, let's see, that should be more than fine. Assign three more divisions there, two more divisions there. <laughs> Have you hurried hell up to the front line? Uh, let's see. Units, first and foremost, reinforcements. Then we can get like three divisions right there. Okay, three divisions, damn it. And yeah, let's just go for it. Let's see what we can do. Freedom fighters, let's say go. Let's begin that one and let's see if we can just break through right here. And we are at least, for now, holding. <laughs> so some guys are just hitting with the wrenches, some guys are actually defending properly. Uh, let's see, both of these guys attack right here. Counter attack them from the side, hopefully holding. Right here they are attacking me on every single front, but we held our ground. So it seems like you guys have the best opportunity to attack. So select these guys and make only you guys advance for now. These guys should just be holding the ground. Uh, take one this division move over right there one division right there one division attack right there uh, Let's see what else can we do more construction speed. That's fine. That's fine. 
Uh, let's get a bit more basic tools. Thank you very much. Then I'm gonna play a bit uh, ugly sometimes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play a bit more of that. It's just, well, actually, I might play it tomorrow or like Saturday, Sunday. It all depends on how I feel right now. And what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Did I completely miss a uh, pass right here where I pushed back or something like that? I think I, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, something at least was it. So if you guys could just very quickly shuffle around right here and actually defend that properly, please. Thank you. God, that was, that's extremely bad. <laughs> oh my God, they could just went in and straight up taken my capital. That would have been absolute horrible. I've lost 47, 67 brave, 80, 100, five freedom fighters and they have lost 218. Here we're at least pushing in quite nicely. Let's see, what else can we do? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's get up, let's upgrade these goddamn weapons. Um, please just break that division. If you break it, that would be so, so, so good. Uh, thanks, appreciate it. Uh, let's see, out supply, supply consumption, max planning. Let's do that one, actually. Let's get that extra planning. Actually, wait, we had right here. Yeah, that could have, actually, not too, not too good, not good. We're pretty, pretty nice right now. Uh, let's see. This is actually new, I think, militia. Uh, let's see, recruit population minus 10%. Yeah, I kind of don't like that. But generally, it's upgrading my soft and hard attack. And it, we seem to have the kind of same thing right here. Reducing that infant width. And um, less attrition, more reinforced rate. <sighs> I don't know. That one is really, really good, getting that reduction in. But we don't have any more extra massive piles of manpower coming in right here on the right side. Oh, you also have the minus combat width. So why would I pick the right side? Well, I guess because you reduce. Let's actually get this one. Yeah, let's actually get that one. Uh, let's get the uh, right one and try to... Yeah, maybe we should get some special forces. And by the way, guys, you are completely failing that attack. Uh, Port Mao has joined the Northern League. Shifting alliances. Okay, cool. Let's see how we're doing. 168 versus 400 men. So we're still holding on. Very good. Uh, getting enough weapons right there. Very nice. Uh, let's see. We can't break that. That's just... Yeah, we can't break that. Cece Legion took 14 states. Wow. Invading the Saint. So the Saint avenged in the evil defeat of the Sina Cartel, where the majority of their leadership are caught attempting to flee the north with the decades of ill-gotten corpse, begotten spoils. Strong of warriors of the Federation, it's El Santo who makes the choice to turn the cartel over to the people long tormented Sinaloa, allowing them to dispense due justice to their antagonizers. The wealth of the cartel is returned to the people, but much of it still donated to Federation in thanks. Ten stability and one off mass arms workshop and civilian factory. Wow, that's a pretty good focus. Pretty goddamn good focus. And that one we can do once we've taken them down. Uh, let's see, we should probably not declare another war right now. Uh, let's see, we can of course go down right here, get some better divisions. Uh, but nothing here really seems to be straightforward of actually improving us. So I think we'll just go right here, the Smith of Los Mochis, and then Awaken Foundries, so we can basically get more military factories, which means more weapons, which means more, well, units. And really, you broke, you couldn't actually bring that down, that's kind of sad. Both of you guys attack right there, these guys... No, what is the control click? Yeah, so soft attack, uh, well, support attack right there. I usually don't use it myself, I usually control it myself. Well, but right now I just want to be really, really safe that you don't actually move from there. Then we could be relatively screwed. But yeah, we are more military factors, so we can grind out them. It's one thing that is very short. We can really, really grind out them. More manpower, more factories. We are, we're going to be A-OK -okay right here. <laughs> True to the Kaiser. Just get an idea. Me and other mods could make like a mod collection without telling you. And then you play with it, all the random stuff, it would be chaos. Latvian, it sounds very nice, but it sounds also like it would take a lot of your time. 
But, uh, well, I, let's say like this. I, if you make one, I will play it. But it will take a lot of time of you guys. Like, I won't, I won't disallow you. Like, I'm definitely not going to say you're not allowed to make it. <laughs> if you want to do it, sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Stop right there. Yeah, this, this is just completely stuck right here. I'm gonna allow them to attack these two guys standing really, really bravely. Probably dying soon. Uh, Infinite Expert right there. Awesome. Very nice. We're really just going all in for defense, except apparently this Field Marshal who I decided to go very defensive on. Uh, stop attacking, stop attacking. So yeah, we're pretty got them stuck right now. Free division, straightforward right here. Let's see if we can bring this down. Yeah, you are losing strength right now. You've been spending a tiny bit too too much equipment on just straight out attacking me. You lost over a thousand men right here. That's really, really awesome for me. Well, thousand undead, I guess. Uh, we're missing nine, yeah, but that's most for the convoys and extra, yeah. I don't really care about that. Hello, if we stop that attack... Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Please tell me we have some kind of naval tech. Uh, let's see, where's the naval invasion tech? <laughs> yes, we have some naval invasion tech. Cool. Uh, then we're going to grab one of these guys. Do a naval invasion from, well, right there to... Well, I guess right there. Hurry the hell up. I'm gonna see if we can just sneak by straight behind them. Uh, let's see, we do have enough energy cells, so that should be enough. Undead ghouls, yeah, ghouls. Sorry, sorry, undead is Bob. Uh, let's attack right here. <laughs> I love that he's running with a freaking metal rod. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are just playing out dying right there, aren't you? And this guy is way too happy leading an army. Way, way, way too happy. Uh, but yeah, they're upgrading quite quickly, getting tons of different skills. It's really, really awesome getting them very quickly like this. Uh, let's see, that's way out of time. Is civilized. We need to become civilized. What does that mean? Like, when do I become civilized? Is there a decision or something, maybe? See some patriotism. Uh, wow. Wow. Oh, but yeah, we lose pretty much that later. Um, mobilize people, that's Winterfire Society. Uh, is there anything right here? Partial mobilization, yeah, we should probably go up right there. <laughs> sure, let's get that partial mobilization so we have that one running already. When you start speaking Latin, of course. <laughs> That wasn't even that funny. Uh, there we go, two more units. I definitely need it straight here. Just to, well, secure up this. I need to bring that down. Actually, let's take one of this division and assign right here on the naval invasion as well. So actually, let's give it a proper chance of actually succeeding. Rather than just throw away something. And now things are happening right here in Mexico. A small war right there. I don't think there should be any issues of the massive Inca Empire right there. Holy shit. Yeah, they're gonna absolutely obliterate that one. Uh, I'm really gonna have to speed up my conquest. We can challenge those people in the south. Basically, what I aim to do is, well, unite all of Mexico and then go for Caesar Legion. Well, probably not all of Mexico, but we'll come in contact with Caesar Legion sooner or later. But yeah, how are we doing right there? So, these guys. Come on, select there. You're gonna execute your naval invasion order. Because you're going to do naval invasion support right there and right there. Come on. There we go. Now these guys are a go. Very nice. But the question is, is it one there, one there? Yeah, it's probably one each. So you guys are now going to attack right here. Just to delay these divisions. Damn it, there were four divisions right there. So they might already have escaped back. Uh, but that seems to be 100% clear. So they did manage to assign a couple of divisions right here, but we seem to be doing very well. Actually, you are not attacking right there. If I can expand my front line right here, that'd be pretty good. And surround them from pretty much everything else. Up, 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 now they're coming with more divisions. Yes, just stay right here. 
both these vision attack there. Actually, if we can do, yeah, we definitely can. So let's deploy those three divisions. Let's just assign you straight away up here. Sure, you're slightly above your current leading time, but what what the hell are you doing? Oh wait, wait, you're supposed to be assigned right there, please. You're, you're going right here. Are you drunk, man? Yeah, I think you are. Uh, these four guys, please rush over here. Come on, come on, quickly. Thank you. Now you're gonna be assigned right over there. Okay, cool. Stay right there, stay right there. So you're being attacked. Come on, quickly now. Quickly now. Get up right there. Uh, we've got one more factory right there. We're gonna definitely change to better weapons. We have enough water to be able to sustain that. That's very good. But we don't really have enough scrap right now. So let's just trade one more... No, one more scrap. I, One more scrap, damn it. I don't really care about... Um, well, supplying for the ships and stuff like that right now. This is get enough guns up here we have enough supply very good let's take one division send over right there you guys are shuffling up right there very nicely let's see uh, I want four people wait 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 four people how do we get one more dish I don't know I don't know. I don't care anymore come on uh, let's see everything is still pretty proper you guys are pushing them back finally which means we can attack right there and right there very nice so for some reason this is there we go you're supposedly as you're supposed to be assigned right there uh, then you attack right there you attack right here and they actually left that province completely free that's very good that's very very good so both you attack right here at the same time and hopefully we can knight it and go in right there and take that down uh, The Legion is actually tribal. Well, yeah, I think I read something. Yeah, right there. Caesar envisioned a society that works together in unison. The reintroduction of machines and other pre-war tools would damage the drive Caesar set forth in his subject. So yeah, the, I, guess, I guess there would be tribals, yeah. I would agree with you. Caesar, tribal. So bring that down as quickly as possible. Just take down their capital and hopefully they will lose the spirit to fight the fight on. Uh, it's actually 25 and a ton of stuff right here. That would be absolutely excellent to grab. Oh, I've not done a focus for a very, a very long time now, have I? <laughs> uh, let's see. Shelter for the week. Oh, Santa days. Uh, let's see. I guess we can always begin right here. I really want those super mutant uh, auxiliaries, so two-faced warrior. Let's begin there, <laughs> guys. Come on, you need to you need to remind poor sick Daniel about like s important stuff like focuses and uh, focuses and uh, research. Do you mean Greater Germany? <laughs> Uh, let's see, push in right here, we're pushing in right here. This basically delays, so they can't reinforce this anymore. And there we go, gone and gone. Capital is mine, and how much will of fighting did they lose? Well, they actually had a lot more than I expected. So, we're gonna do something like this. Uh, these guys, get up right here. Take like two of them more. Then we have a front line right here. Five divisions, you're gonna push up right there. And remove, remove. Oh wait, five divisions. Yeah, that might be a slight bit too much. That's two division, one division. I mean, that's two divi three divisions. One, two, three. Perfect. And then your order is to actually move in like this. Yeah. So if everyone can just shuffle up at their proper orders now. Everyone, come on. We have been pushing them back now quite aggressively. Uh, Kineg Jer, thank you much for the follow, welcome to stream. So, we have been forging them back quite aggressively, and now it's time for the final showdown. Force attack, no mercy, no surrender, just push in and win this for me. Uh, nothing right here just yet. Uh, industrial research feed, sure, let's pick that one. And yeah, this should be all right right now. No one should really, well, it shouldn't really be possible for them to stop me. We have far superior men, we have more more equipment. Yeah, we are 
really really good let's just push out right now and bring everything down excellent 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 uh, more weapons let's set three factors right here for now uh, we need some kind of I don't know artillery or something similar uh, scout kit oh, wait that unlocks special forces as well but scouts might also be for just normal weapons as well or normal units as well this power armor oh shit maybe we should actually have fixed that first one might there I don't really care about second one and third one yeah these are a lot better so we should get that one as well yeah let's let's just begin right here Let's just get that armor, then we're gonna get the training time and stuff like that, because we don't really need more forces right now. We're actually fine where we are. If anything, we're gonna get two more, because once you eventually get, uh, let's see, skilled staffer right there, then you can command 30 troops, right? 30 troops, yeah, I think it's 30 troops. And then if we, we would have a full division again. Explosive support companies are probably the closest you can get to artillery. Then we, maybe we should get that as well. Two-faced warrior, the twin trouble. Two-faced uh, tribe worship Dos Caras, also known as Two Mosque, who was said to have one of the largest and most powerful wrestlers of his age. Is it is pride that keeps them from bowing to the Federation, and an unrelenting belief on their own superiority. Mil Mascaras, whose namesake once did battle at the side of Dos Caras, believes the easiest way to bring the twin chieftain into the fold is defeat the members of the tribe one by one in order to assert their dominance. Uh, let's see, a great Dos Alero bows to the Federation, Might, uh, mighty Dos Rogi Rodriguez bows to the Federation. Ah, why, well, that's not even hard to say. Let's see, better divisions or more factory, better divisions. We are just going to stack up all of these division bonuses as much as we can. And now I want to be begin my super mutant program, so let's begin right there and right away. Logistics company, thank you. Uh, let's see. Dynamite. Flamer. <laughs> so I guess we have to go down dynamite and then we can continue later with all other stuff. Sure, let's spend some experience points to get that one a bit quicker. Uh, let's go in right here. So really just focus on getting everything up to standard right now. War. War never changes. Nope. It doesn't kit in. Not even if you play Fallout. Ugh. They're actually holding quite well right here, both in the west, the east is just completely falling, so I guess once we finish right here that we can just divert all troops to the center and the east and, well, east and we can divert all forces to the west and we'll be done. Of course on this entire front line we had, well, we have three divisions, that's not good enough. Come on, bring this down, shouldn't be any difficulty at all. Yeah, there we go, that broke. Now we finished the last break. And then we clean this out as well. Thank you and thank you. Gone and gone. God, the Republic of Rio Grande is pretty goddamn huge beside me, but not that much stronger. Let's see, current, yeah, we lost 600 men. That's really, really nice. It's barely anything. Let's assign some more men right there. Let's assign four more men right there. Uh, these guys, yeah, some more men right there. Yeah, let's just assign pretty much most of the men right there. The rest is going to be right here and, well, properly surrounding these divisions from any kind of supply. Because, yeah, sure, they had supply when the capital was here. But once we took it, the capital moved right here. And now these guys shall be falling one by one pretty quickly. Pretty gallant quickly. Just pushing them over over this river back and forward. And not in the back and forth at all. We are apparently going to kick the crap out of them right now. As soon as I took command. Okay, cool. I won't complain about it. The giant verticult. Please tell me we have it like that. Oh, yeah, we do. And uh, let's see. We can add it as support company. No? Really? Oh, it's just super mutant straight away. Production cost 110. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. Well, actually, no. Wait, what? They just counted a special force. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm very confused right now. Uh, I can't save this because that would put me over the force limit. I really thought it was going to be some kind of support equipment because they were called. Okay, uh, let's see. 
I guess I'm just gonna do something like this then. Uh, I want a new one, I want super mutants, and how many can we actually get? If we compare, let's actually, I wanna compare the division, like division strength. Let's get a random one here. You're full equipment and full manpower, very good. We have two super mutants right now. You have pretty much the same soft attack, slightly less hard attack, less uh, there, less defense, less breakthrough, piercing. Uh, let's see, your soft attack as well. Okay, may maybe I'm just very disappointed actually how these divisions are working. They are better attacking urban territories, but that's pretty much it. But you have a freaking super mutant. Yeah, I guess we're gonna let's just, let's just get a super mutant division. I would really like something like this: twenty combat with super mutant, and then we'll see. I guess you have ridiculously much more HP than anything else. You're not gonna lose, well, you're not gonna lose men or anything like that. They're just gonna survive everything. It's pretty fun. I like fun. Uh, let's get that 50 experience and I'm gonna just apply this. Thank you. So, super mutant <laughs> auxiliary division. Let's get, how many divisions can we get? Two division of these, yeah, very good. So, let's get two of those divisions. Let's avoid right there. So, let's like ignore those two and try to get two of these instead. Have a break, have a stack wipe. Hello, Virius. Yep, war is dirty. Uh, let's actually delete our current orders. Let's make sure everyone is signed to one proper order. Shuffle around properly and is ready to do the last freaking invasion. Dynamite's done. Flamethrower or frag and grenade. Let's see. Breakthrough, you have more breakthrough. Soft attack, you have more soft attack. Heart attack, heart attack, piercing, piercing. You are cheaper as well. You require less equipment. Two, 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 one. One water, one water. You require that as well. Flamethrower, you sound nice, but generally I like drag grenade better in pretty much all, always possible. So, and right, right. I never actually checked what dynamite was. Die, die, dynamite. Die, die. Dynamite, and that's just basically demolition. Yeah, wow, actually giving some really nice bonuses right there. Sure, slows down the speed a tiny bit, that doesn't really matter. So, yeah, definitely, we're definitely gonna get that. Uh, let's see, Legacy of the Monsters, Triple Threat, the Twins and the Giant. Uh, I think it's kind of, let's see, Beltran Leviah, or slaughtering that completely, but yeah, it's these guys in the south. There can only be one sheriff in town. And that's free fighters. So yeah, that's definitely what we're gonna do. So let's begin this focus so we can go down and get the next war very quickly after this. And just force ourselves in right here now. Let's remove the lost Katra or cartel. And there we go. Excellent, excellent. So we're gonna take them all and thank you. And the free fighters have expanded. So let's begin focusing on the south right here. And the winner is Free Fighters! <laughs> What's the main goal? Bring down CC Legion or the NCR or both? Well, my. I don't know. I don't know that much about the Fallout universe either. Like, I really just. They updated the mod, they tagged me in the post and said, well, we have updated our mod. And I was like, I want a nice chill stream. And then if I don't know anything very much, uh, if I don't know the mod or. 100% like super into something they can, then I can play it a bit more chill I can play it a bit more relaxed so well that's pretty much what I aim for 5% more attack 5% more defense sure I'll accept that uh, let's see how do we get this one Sun Eater here are the people focus here are the people 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 I can't actually see that one is it down here no there here are the people or Cult of the Sun Eater. Ah, probably here are the people. Hoorah! Well, they do become Russian suddenly. 
uh, to kill a bandit. So let's see. All admissible vile character terror of Mexico. There is known as evil as El Bandito Sangerito. His cartel has been a blight that free fighters have contended with for years and must be wiped out. Okay, fine. I'll accept that. Uh, let's see. Los one of the greatest butchers in modern Mexico, known for quite wiping out entire villages, people question his authority and for the murder of anyone that would challenge his power stand in his way. The continued existence of this man is unacceptable and it falls upon the Federation finally put the mad dog down. Even now the tribes gather to discuss strategy and plan his downfall. About time someone took care of it. Yeah, to kill a bandit. Killing a ghoul like a bandit bl like the bloody bandit is no easy thought. They're tougher than the hardest of those luchadores and fight to the death, of course. All of it just makes the challenge even more fun. <laughs> Like, don't challenge the guy with a mask and a nuclear belt. He's gonna go nuclear on you. But um, Jose! The Dutch version. I know it sounds weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Jose. 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 Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are people watching this? Why are people watching this? Uh, by the way, uh, yeah, export focus. Yeah, that's bloody stupid. Um, we're definitely going to try to reduce that one to limited. So let's go to war and then go to limited. Uh, so that's going to be okay. We are definitely going to save us some PP right there. Let's actually declare this war. Wait a bit. Actually, we probably don't have to wear a bit. Wait a bit. Oh my god, it's more ghouls, really? Wasn't this going to be proper people? Apparently more ghouls and here to the right it's proper people here to the north it's proper people and to the northeast proper people So it's time to just remove Yeah, remove the lost ghouls Fragmentation grenade. Hello and welcome to the production queue. So actually I need to double check that that um, armor we're doing right now No, it doesn't really look like something special or is it just special forces then? special forces, yeah you just need spec ops equipment, okay, so it's nothing really cool or important that I really want to care about, no. Then I don't really care about tribal scout equipment, but I do care about fragmentation grenade. So we're gonna bump those up, we're gonna get five factories on it, let's just reduce that one by two, that one by one. And then bump that up again, so eventually we get it, let's just shuffle these two around. So you have the highest priority, and we're gonna get, let's see, nope, nope, nope. Actually, yeah, d does anyone know when we become a civilized people? Like, is it is civilized metalworking? Is it something I'm missing that we need to research or something? Primitive radios. Let's just get a research speed right now. I, I head off the stream right now. See you guys. See you later. Have a good one. <laughs> um, ghouls are people too. Well, yeah, I know. They're more people-like than... Well, if you imagine zombies or anything like that. But yeah, I implore you. I implore you. The people of the Republic. <laughs> Republic's wrestling gang. That's how you do it. Oh, this like Caesar's Legion. Oh, okay, cool. To kill a bandit. Very good. And I guess we have one focus right here as well. When of War, True Demon. So we're going to declare this war. We're going to begin with the next focus right away. Uh, Beltran Liba have long been the demons of Mexico, preying on the weak and defenseless. Now we take the fight to the heart of their cartel. We are the demons and they are prey. Yeah, sounds awesome. And since we have a pretty big superiority right now at least, uh, we're going to do, well, we're going to force ourselves down right here. Everyone attack, everyone do force attack, and yeah, that's gonna be B E A beautiful, and I forgot I was gonna say PP. I completely forgot about that. Uh, let's make sure they don't fall too quickly. You have reasonable war support and stability, so even if I take a city or two, it should be fine. And yeah, that extra firepower is just really breaking them right there. And let's get my super mutants out and into this battle. I wanna see what happens when they fight. Come on, let's go in there. <laughs> oh my god, I would be freaking terrified if something like that ran to me. 
Come on, break them. So let's see, we have skilled staffer, 53%. They need a bit more. Well, we're 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 halfway there. So it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> ghouls white. <laughs> I don't care about ghouls white, we're gonna wipe them out. All of them. Oh god, I just realized you barely have it in the music the entire time. Oh shit. Then you actually had to hear me. Uh, let's see. Prisoners, some. Oh, really? Pioneers? Really? We got that one? That's useless. Um, yeah, that's just plain out useless. Uh, let's see. Let's get the next one. If it was real, like, real stuff, then yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. By the way, did anyone know? So, how do I. Like, I, I need to check out right now. How do I actually become a civilized society? <laughs> Otherwise, we are. Screwed. Is it right here, maybe? No, nothing I can see right here. Uh, what could it be then? No special focuses right there. Nothing right here. God, some really cool focus icons right here. Some really cool ones. Well, we'll see. Maybe it just happens after a while. And it happens at the same time for everyone. So you can't really... Pretty interesting fact, you're not slaughtering Spanish. Well, I did take a Spanish course when I was... 12? 12 to 14? 12, 13, 14. 15 maybe even. Like, I, basic Spanish. I Like, I know two L's become a J sound. Like, yeah. Banditos. Uh, true demon. The bastard bandit of Beltran Levaya. Nay, Levaya. That's when it's 2L. So I guess it's Levaya? God damn it, slaughter. Whatever. Was co uh, just because you said it, now I started thinking of it. Damn it! <laughs> Was cornered by warriors of the demon while attempting to flee south into the territory of vice royalty. Despite having previous raided their holdings and homes, the bandito was brought before the blue de demon himself and proceeded to beg for his life, offering the blue demon knowledge and of his immense catch of stolen wealth and weapons to cage for his own life. The demon agreed, allowing the bandit to lean to catch it before knocking his head from his body with a well placed blow of his power fist. So basically, yeah, sure, I will save you. I, I'm fine with you giving up to me. And then just. Another one for Summer Slammer. Ooh, nice. So that was basically me recovering some of that uh, stability and war support I lost right there. Taking in refugees and let's go down right here. Shelter for the week. Yeah, we, I think we might have just said screw that uh, in one of the early events. Uh, let's do Legends of the Monsters. Let's get 10% organization right there. Oh my god, what happened? No, no. My escape key freaked out. No! <laughs> what are you doing, game? <laughs> One second. Uh, crap. Enjoy the music. There we go. <laughs> Spanish and Russian roleplay will suit you then. <laughs> I guess so, I guess so. Okay, uh, let's see. I was gonna say this war is going really, really well. We're just absolutely crushing them right now. Just storming in. Sure, we might be losing almost the same as they have, but we also have a reasonable manpower. Like, back up. Uh, let's see, let's continue down right here. We 
get the um, reduction in combat whiff right there. Uh, let's not spend the XP right now. We might actually need it to do some massive reworks once we add the grenade companies and stuff like that. Uh, let's add one more roll right there. Let's trade for some water. Yeah, I don't really care that we can't build anything. It's all good. It's all good. Most professional streamer. Come on. Don't, don't, don't hate Jeb. Wait, it's not my fault my keyboard suddenly freaked out. It's not like I wanted it to freak out. Uh, let's see, that can happen to the best. Uh, let's see, limited export right there. Thank you. Just to give us uh, a sizable chunk extra right there. Uh, we're actually 6 plus. That means most of these stuff are used for the smaller stuff like convoys and ships. And Ice Fury TW. 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 Thank you much for the follow. Total War, I guess. Ice Fury Total War. Thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. And welcome to stream. And sorry for starting your name or describing it unnecessarily much. Uh, let's see. Push in right there. And we'll see what happens. Oh, wait. What the hell? Is it sub tambour right now? Oh, I, I never, I never even realized that. Oh, Nick, Nick, I, I, thank you for saying that, but I'm not comfortable at all with what I currently have. Uh, the guy, well, cutting my hair didn't listen to me. I was like, yeah, I want one centimeters on the side and a bit shorter, like on, on the top. And it was like, yeah, I'll do 0 0.4 millimeters. And like after cutting a bit, I was like, that doesn't look right. He's like, it's 0 0.4. I was like, but I asked for one centimeter and it's like, yeah, but this looks better. And just, I was like, what? <laughs> ah. Daniel, the king of slaughter and salt. Yeah, I added salt right there. See, people are getting people. You shouldn't add stuff when people are not saying. Yeah, I'm not at all salty about my hair. Like it, it's not a disaster, but uh, it could have been a disaster. But it, it could have been so much worse, but like my hair luckily grows very quickly. So even if I'm not 100% fine right now, yeah, like I've been going to the same place for like 12 years and they always like do pretty, pretty well. They always do pretty well. Like no matter who's actually cutting my hair there, they have a bunch of like temporary hires and stuff like that. This is first time this has happened. So I'm like, what? Uh, let's see. Reinforce rate. Primitive radio. Like, what the hell do I need for this? What the hell do I need to actually go up one level? Is it nothing and I just... It's civilized, no. Something is very much necessary for that, but I have no clue what. Actually, resources gain efficiency. I would kind of like that one when I think about it. Will your hair be fine by PDXCon? Ah, actually, by PDX. Yeah, actually, PDXCon should be pretty good. That's like, oh god, it's only like a month from now. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> we still have the hair anyway. <laughs> god, I remember when my hair actually was like my hair was actually the first, my first thing, like my first thing that people commented about. That they love the wave I had. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then the entire soul thing actually became a thing. <laughs> and there we go. Annexing those people. Very nice. Free fighters have expanded and it's pretty, pretty good right now. I like it. I like it. And there we go. We got the water we needed. And we're, we're actually self sufficient right now. Advanced competence, god damn it, that, that just looks like a piece of cheese. That's a piece of cheddar that you actually order from some place. Just, just a place, advanced competence, cheddar. Uh, let's see, circuitry. Yeah, that looks circuitry, but this looks like cheese. So we're actually bordering these people right now. And they are ridiculously more powerful than me, so let's not anger them if we can avoid that. Uh, let's see, who should we go for? later a villain for every tale uh, villain for every tale a villain for every tale okay we need we need that uh, let's see sun nature channels 
Fate of Gently Del Sol. So this is basically the Soul Clan we take care of. So we can't continue right here. Hmm. Rebuild the arena, the great rematch, champion of people, bittersweep. So basically you pick one of the guys after. Love death robots, horde honor the cruel, will of the many, truth for, truth for the hero, string for the free, will of the giant. Freedom ring, great federation, land of empires. So basically we get a war goal against these people. That could be pretty cool. I'm so excited to go to Berlin. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be bloody awesome. I'm really excited for it as well. Uh, God, my throat's starting to hurt a bit now. But I just removed now. <laughs> I should probably... St Let's see how long I've actually been streaming. I don't know. What's my uptime? <laughs> I forgot to check. When I started. So uptime, I've been streaming for... Really? I, I, I can't do my own commands? Really? Wow, that's evil. Uh, the twins and the giant. After defeating the majority of the elders with the two-faced warriors. Oh god, it actually seems to be just my bot is down. For some reason. Is it even in the chat right now? Uh, no, it isn't. It isn't. Huh. God, I'll have to double check that then. <laughs> Downtime, midterm. Ugh, I probably seem like an hour or something. I should be able to see it here. Weird. Ah, actually, I can see it on Discord since I <laughs> streamed it. Sorry, I, I, I like I kind of wanna uh, ish end it, but I don't wanna play too. F okay, we have been streaming for like one hour and forty minutes. Uh, actually, ten minutes break, so one hour and thirty minutes. Let's let's go on for another thirty minutes at least. Uh, sorry. So let's see the twins and giant. After defeating the majority of the elders within the two-faced warriors. Mil Masika challenged the twin leaders of the tribe of combat, offering to fight them both at the same time for the sake of fairness. This match takes place in the center of the Federation's greatest camp, under the watchful eyes of every chief who have bowed to the Federation thus far. To Valiant, even the mighty twins cannot hope to match up to the raw physical might of the super mutant in an unarmed combat. Damn it. Damn it, I forgot to mute that. Damn it. Well, hopefully, guys, you read it at the same time. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I don't have any, let's see, demolition. Is that just to play brain frag grenades? But I don't have the fire team. So you recommend. Oh, wait. But you can't have both. So why. So, why, why, why would these divisions have fire teams when I can only have one of them? Damn it. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna have to spend experience to actually remove that one. Otherwise, that will just be well, ruining, it, ruining it for us, right? Yeah, I, I can't see anyway. So, let's just get some anti-tank right there. Let's get some uh, makeshift automatic weapon and let's get a bit of both of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, blue yeti mics are pretty good. That's well I have one right there and I have one there So yeah, I have actually one old and one new this one was with the entire setup. Maybe you can actually see it if I do like this Yeah So it's pretty nice to have it just hanging above me. So Yeah uh, Let's see special forces we're building the arena 
We need all three of them, yeah. So which do I want first? Um, medical technology, battle paragon, shadow brothers. Well, I'm probably not gonna go to war in a while, so we, we can take it easy. And there's two more divisions. Well, I guess I'm just gonna remove like that guy and that guy. Actually, why? We probably need more divisions or more commanders. There we go. Wow, he looks very, very out of place. Well, sure, whatever, whatever you say. So our next enemy will probably be Nueva Aztlan, if nothing weird happens. Uh, let's see, or we're gonna actually naval invade. It would also be nice to get that. Actually, yeah, I kind of want that. So let's ignore it. I kind of want our next um, research slot. It's gonna be quite important. But yeah, could we technically just, just fire our own war? Yes, we can. So you have a non aggression pack with these, but I don't think you're gonna actually interact against me or anything like that. Because, well, we're just another Mexican state fighting another Mexican state. So, let's get 15 divisions there, and we're gonna get 7 divisions there. Cool. So, everyone shuffle up right there in the south, and these two divisions, well, you are really just gonna... Well, protect my capital for now, and then we'll see what we're gonna do with you. Uh, I do wanna add, let's see, remove that one. I don't care about militia. Uh, fire team. Yeah, why, why? Uh, let's see, demolitions, then we're gonna get demolitions, demolitions. That should be pretty goddamn good, we're missing fire runner, but that's massively increasing the current, well, the current soft attacking stuff we have. Uh, that's missing a sizable chunk, but that should be probably alright in a short while. So, components, or components, or what was it? Circuitry. <laughs> wrong and wrong. Uh, circuitry, so we need... Twelve? No. Wait, you trade that one to six? So that's what we need? Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Fine. Let's just get twelve then. And of course you're higher, then you get sick. Actually, components are for that and... Ah, only that. Okay, then I'm fine with it. We have two, fa uh, two factories. Actually, let's repair this because that might actually eventually finish. And that was probably where I got that one factory before that I didn't know from actually building one. Wow. Incredible. Uh, we don't have anything for support equipment. Come on. I still want that support equipment. Uh, I'm bringing my ISP flag for all devs to sign or I'll get kicked out. <laughs> no, I think that's A-OK. -okay. I know definitely a couple people. Like, I know Dan likes ISP. So, if our game designer likes him, then I think it's fine. <laughs> no, Tommy K flag would, also <laughs> would be fine as well. Uh, let's see. Let's do like this. Let's remove all regions. Thank you. And let's just continue actually not building that many fleets anymore. We have enough. We have enough of our canoe fleet. I would take a Latvian flag. Just oh, really? Would you take a Latvian flag? No su surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh my God! Everyone would. You need a Latvian flag, but with a tank on it. Uh, dubious shipments. Okay, range is doing there. Sure, fine. Uh, that's used two off-map uh, military factories. Powered melee weapons. I need to have heavy melee weapons to be able to do this, folks. Are you kidding me? And I can't continue un unless I actually have it. Oh my god. So, what was it? Uh, heavy melee technology. Melee technology, melee technology, whatever. Uh, so I need this one. Wow, that's kind of a wow. assholey thing to do. Uh, sure, let's just come on there, there, and I want to. Why does it look like it's like? What? 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 Is it mutually exclusive or something? Wait, I, I, do I need, wait, what? So either I need to go energy web. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait.
if I want my extra research slot, then at least I have to temporarily force myself to go down right here. I either way I have to go two focuses. I can of course just remove it later if I would like it. Hmm. Yeah. But picking this one would force me to lose my basic weaponry. Oh my god, this is a bit confusing, but sure. Uh, let's pick that one then. And that means it's not necessary for me right now to pick here since I'm still restricted by like 300 days before we can go down. Okay. Then I guess I'm just going to pick right there in the middle. Uh, let's see, research technologies done and ready. Let's see, industry. Nope, nope. Uh, let's see, purification, foundries output. Yeah, that's just better buildings. Yeah, I don't really care about that right now. Uh, but resource efficiency gain plus 8%. Yeah, we're going to get both of them. Just get me all of my stuff. We have a sizable chunk we're actually producing ourselves. We just actually need to, well, increase it. Would be very nice to be completely independent. There, components. That's where I got components from. Right, right, right. I was wondering if I was just severely confused. Oh. <coughs> okay. Research done and ready. God, we're looking very nice. We are looking very nice right here. <laughs> oh my god, being a freaking wrestling team in Mexico as a nation. That's absolutely beautiful. Let's see, that's fine and good, that's fine and good. We can get the Frontier Runner or Mount Population. I think I'm just going to get this one straight away. Uh, reducing up supply penalty, I think, by 10% and supply consumption by 5%. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds really, really good. As we actually don't have enough supply right here to support our southern border. I completely missed that. Uh, let's see. If we got a couple of these guys. Okay, some of them are not even trained. Whatever. I'm going to place you like this. I'm going to reshuffle probably. That's 14. Yeah, I'm going to grab a couple divisions down there south. And that one, fire division two, looks pr it look pretty decent still. So actually, let's grab uh, two divisions right more. There we go, seven. Approaching the medicinas, so uh, the medicinas are are after following over El Santo, the most beloved free fighter tribes in the eyes of the common people under their protection, which is why they refuse to join the federation and cause such turmoil in the lands. There's no worship the long lost Doctor Wagner, uh, Phil. Philethan Trospic wrestler from long before the war. So, yeah, slaughtering that. And before the war, and follow his footsteps by offering medical treatments and charity work for those who need it. Among the tribes, they are easily the least interested in aggressive expansion or open conflict with the foe. Well, uh, we are not planning to do anything like that. Not anything at all. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can be none other than El Santo must bridge the gap with this tribe and stress upon them the importance of protecting others. So, Honorable Surgeon Division Organization plus 7% Division Recovery Rate 7%. Resistance Growth re Research Speed. Well, I'm just gonna get the Division Organization and Recovery Rate. Really, really awesome right there. Rivera. And then fund them and then Battle of Paragons. Or since we are going to war relatively soon, actually that's not something special. Let's just go down right here and continue. That's all good. And for justification, uh, um, a couple of 70 days ish left. Oh, by the way, these guys can you start training? I think we have enough equipment for that. Ah, almost. That's good enough. That should be fine. 
my friend may come with me. Oh, that's awesome. Just bring everyone. Bring your friends. Bring your loved ones. Bring your family. Everyone is for PDXCon. <laughs> uh, let's see that. It sounds pretty cool, but we're not going to produce any of that right now. We barely have enough right now. I don't like. I don't know anyone, any influencer, anything special who is coming and who is not coming. I am completely out of that, those discussions. If I get to know anything and I'm allowed to share it, then I'm definitely going to share it. But as far as I know, I don't know. <laughs> as how, what I was going to try to say was, right now I honestly don't know anything who's coming and who's not. Another f 25 days right there. Why six extra divisions on that one general? Well, I'm really trying to bump him up to be a skilled staffer. So we get, well, up him up to 30. So we can use, well, most of these battles, well, I don't know why I decided to keep him at 30, but most of these, like, front lines are not that big. And having a 24 division just, it seems pretty good, but if I could get the advantage of having 30 divisions on the one general right there, letting him gain all the experience, I don't know, it was a weird plan I had in the head that I forgot to explain, and now I kind of don't understand it myself. But it's kind of working. My right now army is just far superior to most other nations, so I think we're pretty good. Uh, let's see. Actually, how strong are you people in the south? Um, what the hell? Are you? Oh, oh, you're actually the first like Incan tribe we're fighting. Okay. The first actual people we're fighting rather than ghouls. Yeah, yeah, ghouls are also people. Hashtag ghouls, right? But they're ghouls. Uh, let's see. No template. We can't do anything right here. Scavenge. Yeah, sure. Let's scavenge for a bit more. Uh, justification is done. Let's stop training. Let's get people up and running. Let's see. Is my mutants ready? Yes, I think they are. We still don't have enough weaponry, actually, for everyone. Some are still using goddamn melee weapons. 600, that's all the reserve we have. So yeah, we're still upgrading. Oh god, we actually seem to have us. Oh my god, we have so much to actually upgrade. That's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see. This is going to our division. Looking pretty good. It's pretty strong. I like it. All oh, right, super mutants. You should also get the uh, demolitions. We're good right there, and that really just bumps up. Yeah, very nice. Let's get that up and rolling, and we're gonna see. I uh, Inca, you mean Aztec? I mean Aztec. Uh, always gotta go for a little bit. I'm supposed to be. I suppose I'm back when the stream is over. So a nice day, everyone. Yeah, have a nice day, Latvian. Uh, I'm basically gonna finish this war, I think, and then just. Turn, turn this over. So, uh, let's just clear this war. Boom, go for it. And let's see. Are we just gonna charge in? I think we are. And use a force attack as well. Just basically lock down their divisions. And this is just completely open for me. Very nice. And I guess the super mutants are the fastest one. <laughs> so, we're gonna grab two divisions right there. Two divisions right there. Come on. Two divisions right there, two divisions right there, and the super mutant you're gonna join with the battle right here. So just expand right here. Just really, really, really reach super far. Let's end this war quickly if we can. Golden home. <laughs> I read Goldshire first. Ugh, too much roll right now. Well, I haven't played that much. I played like eight hours. No, no, wait. I haven't even played that. I played like a couple hours, three hours. Uh, healing power logistics, two medicas. Okay, so basically get some cool divisions from every one of those focus. Yeah, nice. Uh, let's just throw them up right here. Uh, these divisions in here. And defend the capital. Yeah, we're absolutely crushing them. But there we go. Unfortunately, he got sick. Oh, wounded. Okay, cool. He's just giving half of the bonuses right now. So he's still very much active. Uh, let's get that makeshift bridge stuff and hopefully you can get like, I don't know, Jungle Rat, yeah. Jungle Rat is probably the best one for fighting in the Me in Mexico. So if you can get that up and rolling, that would be pretty awesome. And uh, let's see, you guys are not actually doing your proper... 
doing your battling properly. Come on. Shuffle around, come, just remove these ugly ass borders. Oh wait, wait, that's also their territory, yeah. Let's just move in right there, take their capital right there. Or, well, their second large city. Thank you. Uh, please tell me no one joined that war right now. No, nothing right there. Uh, if you could just jo go around right here, that would be pretty good. Let's clean this out. While the rest of the divisions are just pretty much charging in as aggressively as they possibly can. Just push in. Push in and bring them down. And there we go, taking down this. And there we go. Done and done. And now we have our large enemy right here, Nueva Aztec... Astellan, Astellan, oh uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's not working. And you are actually in a pretty goddamn large war right now. So this could potentially be the prime opportunity for you to, for me to attack. But unfortunately, I'm gonna end it right now. I am feeling really tired, my throat is hurting. And uh, well, generally, I think it went pretty well. Talked a slight bit too much about me being sick all the time, but I hopefully you survived and thought this was enjoyable. I'm not dead, I've just been sick. Hopefully we can have a couple more streams the next couple of days. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry various, but I need to go to bed a tiny bit. <laughs> but yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.